peace everybody i hope that you all are doing as well as you can definitely been doing a lot of reflecting it's like the answers that i know i'm looking for my messages are pushed up in my face like it's like i can't not see them like i'm always questioning some shit or trying to reevaluate some aspect of my life okay they coming through and they coming through heavy so i'm sharing you know without me but anyways i'm gonna organize these hangers while i'm talking to you guys but i'm, I'm in my room and i am reorganizing my closet well really i'm just reorganizing my entire house i'm getting older you know i'm about to I'm, I'm really starting to establish myself into this woman you know that i'm becoming she knows exactly what she wants but i'm in my closet and i have been decluttering my entire house i went through the boys closet and, like it really doesn't even look like i'm probably gonna have any more children getting rid of bouncers and jumpers and any clothes that they can't fit that are under a certain age and I just feel like this right now this my my life is looking like me and my two children okay the two that I already have and my man and there are no additions happening right now or anytime soon for me um as far as what I where I see my life going but you just never know so of course here I am a lot of this stuff is really like a time capsule these clothes hold so much energy it's hard for me to hang on to it it's hard for me to act like i still want it i mean like i really don't even know why i don't why i'm not attached to this shit no more like i have changed so much y'all like some shit just don't even feel right for me no more it don't feel right for me no more and i almost feel like i'm forcing myself to make shit you know like right but it's just not it's just not and that go that comes down to everything like what i choose to eat what i'm still choosing to watch and put in my spiritual my true essence my true who i'm supposed to be and one foot in another door that i really just want to completely close and i'm ready to close it and being in my closet today looking at all of these clothes the pregnancy dresses you know i'm looking at this stuff now and i'm like not about to wear these dresses that i had on during my pregnancy because in that time i was in my mommy energy you know i was my headspace was totally different so the clothes that i was putting on were tailored to that experience for me so there are a bunch of things that no longer resonate with who i am right now so when I get up in the morning and I'm trying to get myself together and I'm trying to go about my day, I'm struggling with trying to figure out who this new woman is in comparison to what everything looks like around me. My clothes aren't fitting me, so I'm trying to make shit work. I'm not feeling really good about myself because I'm fitting into things that are just drowning me. They're taken away from this new woman that I'm trying to, that's pulling me. You know, it is pulling me so heavily and so strong. And she is just so strong. She knows exactly what she wants. And I'm, I cannot wait to be there. But I feel like there are some things that just, like, it just, it, it's like, it's almost, like, I feel right now like a heavy, something that is heavily stopping me. Like, it's like a heavy fucking pulling energy. Like, I literally feel it right now. And I can't even explain to you what it is, but I just know I want it off of me. I want to freely engulf this new energy of me, the, the, the fully health-eating person, you know. I don't want to be, I, I, honestly, y'all, like, for real, I think I'm still trying to make it all make sense. This, this version of myself where I see myself at right now, I'm trying to make it make sense for, I don't know. I really don't even freaking know. Like, this is the hardest conversation I'm having. Sometimes I think to myself, I need a therapist because I need answers, but it's going to come to me. And I, I think for real, for real, like, I've been learning to slowly detach. 
bitch, which is why I am getting rid of all of this shit. It don't mean, I don't care. If I gotta walk around, okay, until I get me some new fucking pieces, if I gotta walk around in the same two, three outfits that make me feel good about me and that I know I'm gonna wake up every day and still vibrate in that same new energy, right? I, I, I guess I'm just going to have to do that because that's just what it looks like when you're going through a process of eliminating things to make space for something new. You can't, I can't take all this, this shit with me, bro. I can't, I'm not, I'm not pregnant no more. Okay. So I can't wear these big ass damn clothes and still be out here trying to like, I can't, I can't, I personally can't, I can't hang out with the same people that's still drinking. Right. I'm not a drinker. I don't listen to rap trap music that is like I feel it doing something to my soul and my spirit when I'm listening to it. Like it makes me want to act rowdy and crazy and angry. And like I'm like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like this, this is how the music makes you feel. Like you don't even have to be around that type of stuff. But as soon as you hear that type of music, you start to embody that energy that comes with it. Like. I'm not there no more. So I have to think about that in every aspect of my life all the way down to all the way down to what what I'm what I'm wearing. What I'm listening to, what I'm watching on TV, how I view myself, okay? Um and that goes for my children as well. Like I I I'm just this is just this part this is who I am. This is who I am, and I'm trying to learn to accept it. But I need for the people around me to show me some grace, you know, during my time of this transition. Because, you see, this is the thing. This is the thing that I'm noticing. When people have a hard time transitioning into new spaces, new things, accepting new ideas, or just whatever, you know, when you have a hard time doing that, whenever there is someone else who is trying to do that for themselves, they may spew negativity because they are already they already have their own ideologies of why they wouldn't, you know, change anything about themselves or what you changing it for. Why you doing this? Why you doing that? What, da, 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 da. I don't even have a reason for why I am. It's just a part of my life right now where my brain is telling me it's time to level up. It's time to move the freak on. This shit not working no more this way. And I don't I, I can't relate to people whose brains don't think this way. Like, I really don't get how people can really sit and, like, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, my mind is, is just ever going. It's always, like, I don't know. Maybe my mind is just a million years older and it just knows that there's more. There's more and you can change. You can shape shift. You can alter your entire reality within the drop of a hat, bro. You can do that. Like, literally, if it was up to me, I probably would do that more than you guys think. Like, because that's, that's just how it is when you are going through a space where you're becoming more <clears throat> aware of everything, y'all. The people outside, the people around me, the people in their vehicles. Nobody is worried about the next person, bro. I was driving in my car and I had a deep reflection I was thinking about my son. I was in my car. I didn't have my kids with me. I was by myself. But I was thinking about Solar while he was away from me. And I'm driving and I know there are other cars around me. But I just had a moment where I reflected and thought, how many other people are thinking about their children or what they have going on? Or maybe not even thinking about what they have going on. Maybe they're talking to the person next to them. Or maybe they're on the phone or maybe they're but everybody's just doing them like they're in their own world they're in their own space they're operating in their own reality so it may be a mistake that somebody cuts you off it may be a mistake that somebody runs the lights right it may be an accident it may not they, they're not thinking where you're they're not consciously or intentionally moving. Some people are really just out here just going, y'all. They are really just going. And I am just like in a space now where I know I'm flowing into this different space of awareness of myself and all things around me. And it's, it's leaving room for me to really just 
dissect what life really is for real like you're supposed to continue to just shift nothing in this world or in this life is stagnant or sitting still nothing not one thing nobody can show me anything that's just sitting still because shit is moving even if we don't see it moving like vibrating even if we don't see the vibration so it's crazy like to think that this concept of you deciding to change your mind about some shit is not a real thing y'all it happens okay overnight that shit happens okay it, it just does i don't know why I, I can't explain it to anybody and if anybody else is out there feeling like this i just need to know because i'm just that person like this i'm ready to just relinquish whatever control i feel like i have over this just relinquish it all the way down to my children like i'm even starting to just chill like i've had to teach myself to just chill bro like when it comes to my kids and i know that's the real me that be kind of telling this old me that i'm still trying to hang on to to just hang on girl you know like you got it you, you know what you're doing like look it only do this this way focus on this right now don't don't do this you know like i feel that in me telling me to do that all the way down to how often I wash the dishes, how often I'm like where my energy goes and balance. And this new me really wants balance. She wants balance. She wants shit a certain way. And I'm, I'm learning to accept her. But <clears throat> with that, I have to be okay that the people around me may or may not accept it. You, you either are going to accept it or you're not. Either way, I have to accept it because this is who I am. Otherwise, I'm denying myself the highest, my highest, my highest and best self. If my highest and best self and healthiest aspect and version of me is where I feel myself being pulled and lured, but the people around me or the things around me are not beneficial to that goal or that, 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 that pull that my, my, my mental or my, my my true self is having on me or my god is having on me to maybe something ain't right you know i that means i might need to eliminate other things like i used to take on people's opinions so like i was one of those people y'all that wanted to know like girl what you think about this even if i wasn't gonna take their opinion and use it for anything i still just wanted to get the input I needed the input on the end and i'm to the point now where baby i don't even want the fucking input because the input ain't gonna do nothing but piss me the fuck off okay because it's not gonna resonate with me for real so the message that i'm looking for usually just comes to me it comes to me when i need it okay i don't have to go looking for it from anybody or anything or i'll just feel it in my spirit like it'll just feel right you know why wouldn't you operate in that if some shit feel right to you, why wouldn't you operate in it? And like, I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny when I say this. Some shit for some people, like you might say, oh, well, some people's right might be that they are, they find it interesting to mess with kids. Like, so it's all right for them to feed on their all rightness of them messing with kids. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm talking about the positive side. You know some shit that's just what it is. You know when it's positive and it ain't here to hurt nobody and it makes sense like the common universal laws the god and you that god energy that knows what the fuck is up and i'm not talking about the indoctrination god i'm talking about that god energy that 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 real god energy that universal energy that you don't have to see okay you don't have to see it to know it you feel that shit for real in the depths of your soul that this shit is right like you don't nobody has to quit like you can lay it up there for everybody to see and everybody will have a common and a and a even consensus that yes that's something that's good that is deemed good i'm talking about that type of shit i'm not talking about shit that you will have a lot of hell of people disagreeing on and there'll be like a split line of you know that shit ain't right and then other people that are like oh, i kind of just like it even though it's weird or i know it's not right it's something i don't know what's in me you know it's not one of those things this is not that. to somebody i sound crazy to somebody i sound so crazy but to me i get what i'm trying to say i know what i feel you know um and that's all that matters because this shit is moving me into places that i never fucking saw bro 
I never saw this for myself when I was listening to other people. For real. Like, when you listen to other people and you allow other people's input into your life and, oh, how you should do shit, oh, no, that's not how you do it, do it my way. When you do that, you're depriving yourself of who you truly are. Because how else are you going to learn how to be you or what you really like or what's for you or what's not for you if you're just going to keep listening to what somebody, yeah, girl, yeah, wear that, girl. Yeah, girl, you should put that outfit together, girl. You ain't even comfortable in the shit, but the, because she told you to put that shit together, here you are going to wear it. Lottie Dolly, Lottie Dotty, empty head ass. Okay, stop being empty. You're not empty. You are so damn full, but you don't know you're full because you keep on asking and seeking everything from everybody else outside of you. I am tired of that feeling. I be feeling so fucking full when I follow through with what the fuck I already know. Like, as soon as I try and do some shit somebody else done said, I always be like, here the fuck I go. See? See? I be like, see? See? Feeling stupid. Look, feeling and looking real damn stupid because here I am trying to follow you. I should have just did what I knew I already wanted to do. Like, what, what's up with that? Like, y'all, I'm telling you, there is no other way better than your way when you know that you're, you're operating in a positive, high energy space. Like, this is some high vibrational shit. You're probably not going to be able to resonate with me if you're still eating on the meats, okay? If you're still watching the low vibrational television shows and the things and you're still listening to the low vibrational music and you're still drinking and you're still intoxifying your body and you're still engaging in the low like come on you're still trying to find out who you are but you finding out who you are with the wrong people you know these people don't even resonate with you some of y'all still trying to hang on to people that you know don't resonate with you you still got some event planned or something planned to go hang out with somebody that don't really even you don't even fuck with them you don't even like them for real but you going why what is wrong with you Go by yourself. Like, you know, see, that's what I be saying, though. We need, I'm not trying to be funny, y'all, but we really need more people to tap in with themselves. I need some more authentic energies around me. I be feeling like, damn, like, it's a lot of mimicky ass energy. Like, I'm, I don't want no mimicky energy. I really just want to just know what's for me and just flow into that shit. Like, you know, just like a bird, like, close your eyes and just do whatever, you know, like, oh. Like to other people, it's like, girl, get your ass out of fairy tale land. But I'm a Pisces too, so I'm a dreamer. You know, I do have that imaginative side of me. But that shit is beautiful, bro. I cannot tell you how much shit I'm able to imagine that can really be something in this reality. Like, it is actually tangible. It can be real, but it's just like, how do you get there? You know, what are the steps to progress towards this step, this thing that I'm imagining? What does that even look like? And is it worth me really? investing my energy into you know am i really gonna put my energy all the way into it to see it unfold the way i envisioned it you know just shit like that like i'd be just like damn like <laughs> i know i'm not alone okay i know i'm not alone y'all i know it's crazy though. i know i'm not but you know sometimes you feel like you are when you allow yourself to just keep all this shit right up here but you're not giving it or you not, or, or, or you know, sharing it. It makes it hard, baby. It makes it hard to, you know. Yeah, which um, mm -hmm. um, it, it just, you know, I, this is my this I, this is my word to everybody because I can't, I can only be my best self for me. But I really want a lot of other people to feel this too, like, and, and stop fighting that new change or that, that new who you're supposed to be. It's okay if you're not into the same shit you used to be into, okay? Just flow with that fucking energy, bro. If the food ain't tasting like it's supposed to, it's okay to put that shit down and go in a different direction, okay? If the people not, if the people not peopling, they're not giving you what you need and then it's not gratifying, baby, move on, all right? Like, I think that we so stuck on holding on to some shit. But I, I, but you know what, though? Let me tell you, though, because that might be a trauma thing that we have, like, a trauma we've picked up from our parents or, or the elderly. Because they hold on to a lot of shit. They don't want to let go of nothing, you okay? I'm not being funny, but that's, that's, it's actually like an energy that's transitioning out. We're seeing a lot of people starting to question shit that was considered to be factual. Facts just ain't facts no more, Okay. 
I think facts are now perceptions because people are perceiving shit in a total different way that's questioning what the facts truly are. And now, you know, you got new facts and new information that's debunking what used to be a fact. So it's like, damn, like, you don't even really know for real <clears throat> how much you done been indoctrinated by your parents telling you that you need to stay with this. Stay with you, watching your parents stay with the same man for years, even though he beating on them. Even though he disrespectful, even though she disrespectful, even though she talking down to him and ain't making him feel like a man, people will stay in those relationships for years because their parents told them that they're supposed to or religion told them that they need to not get a don't you get no divorce. Not knowing that people change, you're supposed to change y'all. That's why you don't really need to marry nobody because you might change a man marriage if you really haven't stepped into your power, you don't really know who you are. You might marry somebody in your 20s. For real, there are a lot of stories where people just stay in love. They stay in love because those people more than likely didn't change much about themselves. So they got to stay in love with the people they were always, they always were. But the moment someone changes in a relationship or a marriage, it changes the whole fucking relationship because the shit ain't, the vibration ain't the same. Ain't no balance, Right? So now you got people that really should not be together trying to force themselves to fucking be together. And it's toxic. Then you got kids. Okay? You wasn't even supposed to be together, but now you done had a baby together. Okay? Now y'all raising this kid. And the kid is, is clearly hurting. But y'all still together, though. Y'all still together. And then created all this trauma. This child is observing all this shit, right? Think about that. Like, damn. That's why you should be okay with the change. Y'all listen. It's, it's somebody somewhere right now that needed this damn message. The job ain't jobbing no more. Baby, you went into that contract with them as well. They need you just as bad as you needed them. Move on. Go find a job that is jobbing. Go find the one that is going to pay you what you worth. And if they not, then do something about it. Like, I'm, that's the energy I'm in so hard right now. Like, I'm just trying to find balance with that, though, because it can get out of control. It can get out of control to where I can drop everything right now and, and dive directly head deep, feet head first, crack my skull open into whatever I'm feeling right now. Throw all these damn clothes away, take whatever money I got into my account, and say, I'm about to go buy me some new fucking clothes that I like for me. Right? not feeling all of this shit in my house. I'm throwing away everything that I see in my path that I don't want no more. <laughs> That's the extreme of it all. Now, I really could do that. Like, to somebody that would be crazy, but I could really do that shit and be perfectly fine and sit afterwards like, huh, now what's next that I need to change in my life? Where are we going now? Because this is all leading up to something, y'all. It's leading up to something I'm telling you. Like, the more shit I'm getting rid of, the lighter I'm feeling. The more shit I'm getting rid of, the closer I feel to that minimalistic lifestyle where all of this materialistic shit really ain't it. It ain't it. It ain't fulfilling, bro. Think about how much shit you have bought that you no longer have no more. But it felt good when you got it. But that shit is fucking gone, bro. You'll never see that shit again, but it felt good when you had it. I want to let go of that level of attachment to, to needing to gratify myself off of that shit instantly. And then it's gone. You know, it's gone. Like, that's why I'm like, bro, I know for a fact this new person that I am is probably going to be the loudest, but the most humble and mute. Like, I like the most powerful. Like, y'all, y'all don't see it because I can't really tell. I can't explain it to you. I see her. I feel her. I see her and I feel her. And it's like going to be crazy. Like, People are going to look at, like, I this, that was the whole purpose, though, of me creating this channel. Let me just say that. The whole purpose of me creating this channel was so that I could do this. I wanted to see myself on this journey transform. If you go back, y'all, go back. Go back to when I first started my channel, y'all. The transformation, okay, even all the way down to how I was thinking and how I process shit is so different in my now. And that's how it should be. And it should continue to get only better. It should keep going up and up and up and up and up. And it's so exciting. Like, I'm excited for this new version. Look at her. Look. Can I, baby? 
Look at her. I'm not forcing shit. What I gotta force anything for? Baby? Huh? Force it for what? <laughs> Yo. I mean, for real, like. Ugh. I think I'm gonna end this video right here. For real though, I'm like in a space now where I just need to get this shit off of me because somebody somewhere needs this message. There's so much I had to say. I have so much to say, bro. And I don't say that shit because it's hard for me to articulate. And then some people don't have time to just sit and listen. But y'all ain't got no choice. If you watching my channel and you come here and I'm talking to you, you gonna listen because I resonate with your spirit. There's something that you needed to hear that message, y'all, that message you looking for. Here it is. Here go your message right here. And what you gonna do with it? Because like, you want the message, but you'll still be looking for another message. And here it is right here. I got my message. Being in this closet today, getting rid of shit from the kids, looking at all of this shit that I had when I was pregnant, looking at all of this. Like, I remember the woman I was. I'm not her no more. I literally was just that woman seven months ago. My baby's seven months old. I was literally that woman seven months ago, and I cannot relate to her right now. No parts of it, okay? Everything I thought about breastfeeding, how I thought about it, all that shit is gone out the window. Okay? Like, my idea of hospitals, all that shit, done. I promise you, I will never, I don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> Let me not go there, but. I'm, I'm tapping in to a whole new level. That's, that's, that was what I, I wanted to come on here and talk about. You might have to go back and watch this, this one again. This, I was speaking to me. I was speaking to me, bro. I get on here sometimes to talk to you guys because I need to hear me. Like, if you don't have nobody to talk to, talk to you. Start talking about the shit. Start openly talking about the shit and openly say how you feel. And some shit just gonna start popping up on your lips and in your mouth that wasn't even a thought in your head prior to. It wasn't even a thought in your head prior to. And then now you got some more answers that you were needing to just further push you into. Like, baby, who is fighting the process? Because I'm not. If you're fighting the process, you're fighting yourself. Like, you want to be, like, in that space of unhappy misery questioning confused okay unsatisfied ungratified i'm not trying to be in that space i'm trying to always be feeling like yes bitch yes let me see who this is say yes 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 okay i'm always trying to find her like why wouldn't i Especially if she's calling for me. Like some of y'all have you you know who calling for you. Stop trying to hang on to that old shit. Let this new shit be. Find your new tribe. Okay. Find your new girls. Find your new friends. And if there aren't any, because sometimes ain't no new friends, bro. Ain't no more freaking new friends, okay? Sometimes ain't none. You just you just you just hear. You just hear to experience people and that's just that. You here to engage, you here to and I that's what I want. Like I have forever friend I have forever sisters and kindred spirits. Like if I've ever told you we are a kindred spirit, no matter what, bro, if we are operating in the same energy, I always gonna look at you or I can have a conversation with you. I'ma always look at you like you family. You sis. What? Friend, you are my friend. I hate the title friend for real because it just makes people feel like you're obligated to some shit. Like you gotta uphold this this title. This you have to uphold this infringement upon our agreement in our contract of the things. No, shut the fuck up. I don't want that shit. Okay. If we're kindred spirits, no matter what, no matter where, whenever we have our time, we will have our fucking time, baby. I've met people and I've had such a beautiful time with them. I just know they're my energy. We were kindred, we're kindred spirits, we relate, we exchange energy, it was beautiful, and whether I do or don't have it again, I love and will always remember that encounter, and he will always still be sis to me, and if I ever see you again, it'll be the same as up. That's how it should be, like, but the whole just being just, uh, like, the titles and shit, like, I'm learning to let go of that shit, like, it is what the fuck it is.
so many people come in and out of my life. Best what? I don't got no best nothing. Ain't no bestie cousin, bestie friend, best bestest, best friends. You know, I have forever kindred spirits and sisterhoods that will just always be a thing for me. And, and I, I don't have to tell anybody that. I don't have to force that. I don't have to. It's just what it is, you know. It's just what it is. And the people that are around me and that know that know, they know their position. I don't have to sit up here and tell you. Like, if you got somebody calling you that's supposed to be your best friend and they calling you feeling some type of way, like, why you ain't calling me? Why ain't here for you? Are you trying to be funny? Oh, you, I see you over there with your new little friends and stuff. See what I'm saying about you? You so busy trying to be so worried about the title and what you feel like I'm obligated to do for you instead of just calling me to say, hey, girl, how you doing today? Let's go hang out. Hey, you got time? I'm going to stop by and see you. I got you a little something. I was thinking about your girlfriend. Hey, baby, I need a word. Let's just sit and chat about everything, whatever. Hey, babe, I got some fruit. I got some extra fruit. Before it goes bad, you want some? You want to share this fruit with me? Girl, let's meet at the lake. Hey, girl, I got the kids. What are you doing? I'm having a little get-together later, later if you want to stop by with the fam. See each other in passing. Hey, girl, what you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? Girl, about to grab something to eat. If you want to, you can come over and join us for dinner. Where you, who you going to be with? Where your friend? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Them the type of people I want to be around. I'm not trying to be feeling like, damn, I'm obligated to you. And that when I'm going through my hard time or my downtime, I got to tell you why I don't want to talk right now. I want you to understand that, okay, girl, when we do talk, girl, you're going to tell me all about what the fuck you went through. And I'm going to be right here to support you. Not, oh, you were here for me when I was going through this. And no, bitch, what did you go through? Me too, girl. Like, I'm so glad I'm out of that energy. I ain't put nothing on you. I ain't enforced nothing on you. I didn't put any, you know, I didn't um, <clears throat> taint your energy during my time. Where are the, these people at? Where are these people who have let go of the idea that they are guaranteed other people's energies? They are guaranteed an answer from somebody that's grown. Maybe I don't owe you nothing. Don't nobody owe you nothing. When are you going to learn that? The system don't owe you nothing. The church don't owe you nothing. The only person that owe you some shit is you. So if you're still operating and still doing and still lingering and still hanging on to, baby... You're doing that because you want to. You like that energy. It's comfortable. I get it. It's comfortable. Why would you want to change that shit? I could keep going. This is why the freak I need a podcast. This is why the freak we need a podcast. Podcast. Because I could keep going, y'all. But I'm going to end this right here. Let me let me, let me me talk to y'all for real. I need the people that's really going to be giving me some conversation. Give me some conversation in the comment section, please. I'm, I'm, I need that. I need that. This is the type of kindred spirit energy I'm talking about. Don't, you don't have to sit in the background. Like, I know some of y'all be commenting, hey, girl, this is my first time commenting. I just want you to know I see you. I don't comment much. Why? Why are you not commenting? Comment much, please. Where are my comment munchers? Because if you're just telling me, oh, I love you so much, I love, I know y'all love me. I love y'all. I'm not going nowhere. I love y'all too. I'm so glad y'all get to see the kids and just get to see all of this stuff. But talk to me. <laughs> talk your girls okay that shit really does i i love you guys so much i love sharing my life with you but talk to me baby where my girls at that's trying to talk to me come try to talk back i'm trying to talk back i'm trying to trying to see like what's up what's up what's going on this closet is the start of something new y'all for real like i told me and my me and me and one of my other kindred spirit sisters okay me and jazz me and Jazz was talking to y'all, and we seen a post on Facebook. She said, let's make one. Let's, baby, let's. That's okay, let's. So I'm cleaning out my closet. I'm getting rid of shit that don't serve me no more. What you doing? Now, I ain't here to judge you, because this is a judgment-free zone. But I am here to evolve you, get you to question some shit, get you to see some shit for you, because it ain't for me. It's for you. 
not benefiting off of none of these conversations for real as far as you are concerned i'm benefiting from me because spirit is talking to me too so when i go back and out and i'm listening or i'm talking to you i'm able to hear new shit that i didn't even know was up here like that is crazy i'm channeling shit i'm channeling shit as i'm talking to you and i don't know like where that comes from that's a beautiful though that is a beautiful thing like to like <sighs> yeah it's, I feel like I just woke up into this new space of self-awareness. Like, I'm, I'm noticing shit that, it, that was always there and I knew, but it's just like, damn, bro. Whew. Anyways, that's all. That's it. That's all. I'm going to just leave this video just like it is. I'm just going to post it. And y'all talk to me. So, if I sound crazy, this was not edited at all. But thank y'all so much for your time and your energy. I love you so much. Peace.